These are protein bars filled with crickets. Yes, crickets. Well, cricket flour to be exact. And you're here to watch us eat them, aren't you? <laughs> you're here to watch us squirm and gag. I hate to break it to you, but this isn't one of those videos. What we're actually here to say is that you'll soon be eating crickets because, well, you have no choice. The problem is our species continues to grow rapidly while the size of our planet stays the same. But here at Entomo Farms in Ontario, Canada, they're working on a six-legged solution. The whole concept, the whole idea behind insect farming is the planet can only produce so much grain. Then we need to turn that grain into protein. Crickets are 10 times more efficient than cattle on grain usage and over 100 times more efficient than cattle for water usage. Yeah, okay, that is pretty gross. But the truth is, people have been eating crickets all over the world for millennia. And since eating crickets is great for the planet, we better get with the program. But how does an insect end up in a protein bar? The farming starts either with the cricket or the egg. That's a philosophical question we haven't answered yet. Our operation lays eggs every day, and uh, we have hatchlings every day. After the eggs hatch in an incubator, the farmers move the youngins to egg flats. After the hatchery, we take them into the finishing rooms, where they're set up with ample space. It's pretty much like a free-range situation, and uh, they have full access to food and water 24 hours a day. Free-range crickets. That's good. But the freedom is short-lived. Once the farmers are ready to harvest, they euthanize the crickets with gas and send them to a processing facility down the road. They go into the oven where they spend about two and a half hours at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. They come out fully roasted and with almost 0% humidity. Then it's time to grind the crickets into flour. And then Tomo can make a whole lot of powder. It keeps around 100 million crickets and produces 1,500 pounds of flour every week. And as investment continues to rise, cricket products are popping up all over the place. But the question is, does it taste okay? Okay, go, go, and go. It's really not that bad. I, I think Cliff Bars taste worse than these. Well, there's tons of other things without legs in the bar. So how about just a good old cricket? They're a little unwieldy. Oh. <laughs> Did you cover your eyes instead of your nose? Yeah, I don't want to look at the cricket going my mouth. Damn it, we did we make one of those videos, didn't we? Extra limbs and wings. 